Last week, we announced a sketch comedy tour with World's Biggest Army. Now we have some additions to make. We would like to cordially invite you to a live performance of Podcast About List, coming soon to a city near you. On March 30th, we will be headed to Minnesota and performing in the lake-studded Midwestern utopia known as Minneapolis. Then on April 3rd, we will be raising our voices in beautiful comedy in Detroit, Michigan, the ancestral homeland of one Marshall Mathers. And finally, we are over the moon to announce our pilgrimage to that cradle of civilization, the crown jewel of the contiguous United States, the bustling metropolis of Carborough, North Carolina, on April 26th. Enjoy an evening of unabashed mirth and intellectual amusement, where refined comedy is delivered with the precision of a finely tuned symphony. Buy your tickets now and become part of an elite community that appreciates the finer things in life. Swagpoop.com slash shows. Take your hat off right now and put these on and wear a red shirt. Number one. <laughs> Number one. Number one. From Nigel Uno. Nigel Uno from uh, mm-hmm. Codenames. Cause where was he from? England. Oh! I... What did he talk about? I don't... Can you the, play I'm going to get clip? the... Oh, don't my get clip. him! Say, like, I have a new invention. I have a new 2 by 4 technology. You're ca- that's okay. Australian a little. I, I thought he was Australian. No, that's the blonde one. Yeah. <laughs> kind of ruined it. Uh, yeah, it wasn't so that good. A... You also weren't wearing a red shirt. Yeah, if you had a he red shirt... He made me do that. Yeah, but you should yeah, be able to think on your feet. I know. I didn't like, here, give me these sunglasses. If okay. he had put these on me, I, like, I would just be like this. Surf's up, dude! Oh! <laughs> See, but that's not... And it not, makes Patrick laugh. That's not Ni- Nigel Uno, though. <laughs> but it's like I'm thinking on my feet. I'm improvising. You know, I'm rolling with the punches. I'm he, doing something he that's became funny. A, he became a surfer. Wait, I can do that, too. Well, do you saw a different prop now? This has been used yeah. up. Yeah. Oh, I got another. Oh, I'm completely blind. No, you're not. Who said that? Me. Who's you? Oh, I'm a surfer. <laughs> Don't <laughs> laugh at that. That's not funny. It's funnier to be blind. Being a surfer is funnier than being. But first of all, being laughing at blindness is punching yeah, that's, down. That's punching down. Laughing at surfers are punching. Up. That's a disability. Surfing is not a disability. If you're stupid enough to fucking hang out with sharks. You have a mental. You're not dis- hanging out with sharks. Mentally, you're hanging out with waves. You have a mental deficit if you are hanging uh-huh. out with waves and sharks and fish. And they you said think I had a friend. mental deficit. And I still got in, into college, so. Mm, you got into college that, more, right? more than any of us. I you got into three colleges. Yeah, yeah, that's actually pretty impressive. Yeah, three colleges dropped out of each one. Toby motherfucking Keith is dead, man. I know. Fuck, dude. It actually was. I, I was this listening to. A, I was listening to a lot of Toby Keith in the past couple of weeks. On it's genuinely. I Toby is, Keith and Tim McGraw have been listening to. I ain't as alive as I once was, <laughs> but I'm as dead once. Well, you know, what, I'm guys? covered in dirt and worms <laughs> on me now. All these people. <laughs> There was a time back in my prime when I got up and walked around. (laughs) I love this grave. I love my grave. (laughs) It's my kind of grave. (laughs) (laughs) It's all dirt and stuff and grass. Yep. They buried me up my ass. They put formaldehyde on my face. On my ass. They said, Toby... You've passed away, Toby. <laughs> Toby, you have passed away, man, and I'm sorry. What was the other one? I tr- was for my grave. Yep. And flesh for my worms. <laughs> well, that could work That's too. Good. Flower, uh, hmm. Flowers for my grave. Flesh for my worm horse. <laughs> worm horse. My wormies. <laughs> he calls these are my wormies. <laughs> Dude. Dude, what oh my god, that would be a great thing for an edgy guy like Marilyn Manson to do to be like raise and take care of a bunch of worms and be like, yeah, when I die release oh, these into my grave whoa. that's actually so that fucking bury me with my worms because me with like, my worms. if you did because the uh, the supreme edgy thing to do would be like i'll let my dog eat me after i die mm-hmm. but yeah. you can't do that no the but dog's worms, only interested in the or you get a pig farm body, anyway pig hmm? farm go snatch style yeah but like people that's how people get mad at that they won't let the pigs do it yeah but worms it's like you're already dead and you just put a yeah the worms are gonna eat you anyway exactly yeah, that's true but anyway, I have all these people saying, rest in peace, uh, Toby Keith this, rest in peace, Toby Keith that. Well, guys, rest in piss, Toby Keith, because I actually think he was a piece of shit. Watch and your fucking mouth. Leftist. Watch it. He wasn't. Watch it. He uh, was an uh, SJW. It, 
Wait, really? Yeah. Was fuck he? Fuck you, Toby Keith. <laughs> was he an SJW? Hey, Toby Keith. Fuck you, man. Did you see that? Like... I didn't know that you were an SJW, and now yeah. that I realize this, you're dog shit to me, and I'm glad you're dead. There was a. Uh, there's this like fake story that goes around about how uh, Chris Christopherson uh, made fun of, or it said like, Who the hell's never... that? Chris Christo, you don't know that he was in The Highwayman, I think, with Willie uh, Nelson Star and Johnny is Cash. Born. SNL. Yeah. Star is born. He was in SNL. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but there's like this fake story that goes around. Like, I think they were like buddies. And everyone is like, yeah, Chris Christopherson told him that uh, he uh, didn't serve this country. He's uh, pretending to be a patriot or whatever. Whoa. And that's going around again now that he's dead. Toby and to Keith own him is in an responsible epic, for way. probably half of the deaths in the Iraq war. Oh, absolutely. This guy can't, you can't, this guy you deserves can't the, every you can't medal write on earth. The Taliban song. Do you know and how not many, get a purple heart? Dude, how many fucking people. When, listen to a Toby American Keith song. American soldier. Li- literally, there are. To- I'm yeah. an American. Toby Keith songs led to the loss of so many so legs. Many, so many guys <laughs> who were like so good at football. Toby Keith is the has, has legs on his on yeah. his yeah. head. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know how they paint how they they paint planes on like a plane when they shoot him down. He was on his guitar. He was painting legs. Just uh-huh. tons of just yeah, white just legs, legs all yeah, over bones, his guitar. Bones all over his guitar. Just a bunch of femur bones. And, and not even, Damn, you Toby know. Toby Keith sitting on a throne made of bones. Just of white tons bones, of fucking shin bones. We're thinking Cotton about this, shit, right? Just cousin legs. Yeah. We're thinking just about everywhere. cousin legs, right? But we're not considering how many uh, uh, whiskey-related alcohol deaths for these women. Oh, well, after that the was song something whiskey I wanted Girl. to talk about, man. I think that this might be... Uh, there's no question in my mind that this was an alcohol-related passing away. Mm. I think. Oh, because he loves be. bars? Because he loves bars, and he's yeah. spending all his... He well, loves, he loves at bar. least one bar. Yeah, he loves one bar. I we don't know that he that's likes bars true. in general. I guess that's true, but he says, Red Solo Cup. Uh-huh. I fill you up. So he also likes mm. parties. Yeah. And what do you do and at he a party loves a with whiskey a girl. That could be a picnic. He likes a whiskey girl. And so many women were trying to do him, and they started getting into whiskey. Women can't. That's a man's drink. It's a man's drink. You yeah. can't drink whiskey if you're a girl. Yeah. That's the point of the song. You don't actually put hair on your chest, and then yeah. nobody wants to date yeah, you. Yeah, then Toby mm. Keith won't want to date you. Yeah, so that's Do you think he's telling the truth in but that song? I, guys, he's lying. I think this is... I hate saying this. I hate even thinking about this. I think that the tide is turning on alcohol in America. Yeah, absolutely. I think that Toby Keith, this death is going to be the first of many alcohol-related deaths that we see. Mm -hmm. Probably me and Patrick soon following. Yeah. Right. And the younger generation... Are not. They well, they're all addicted wanna, to vapes and zins. They don't even want to drink alcohol anymore, no. man. I saw something yeah. that like Gen Z is the least alcohol drinking generation they hate ever. It. They don't like yeah. it. How? It's because they're They'll freaks. They'll grow into it. No, we're they technically won't. Gen Z. It's because they're. Uh... We're Gen Z on a technicality, you know? Well, we're, wait, yeah. Gen Z isn't Gen Z technical. like, are they all like, they've been legal to drink for what, four or five yeah. years? Yeah. And Gen Z they haven't starts dove in? in 97. Well, we're, I'm, I think it starts at I'm 95. A, I'm a day walker for Zillennial. I'm, I'm a, I can navigate millennial spaces as well as Gen Z spaces. You're a gay stalker. Yeah. I'm not a gay stalker. Gen and you're Z also, gay we're stalker. all day walkers here. I don't know what that means. We can man. navigate millennial space. We can say stuff about Matt and I'm Kim, full, but also I'm eat. full millennial, man. They, I, yeah. If they put. They say I'm a Zoomer. I don't care. Mm-hmm. But I, I have. Song. You want to claim that? Say doggo right now. <laughs> that's well. That's what I mean, dude. I'm. <laughs> I could, doggo I'm right so now. much more likely to connect with somebody who says doggo than somebody yeah, who says true. bruh. True. Uh, there's no. Can you imagine being in a like? Uh, yeah, I don't know. If I'm at a party full of millennials only. Yeah. I'm gonna do okay. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm. I'm in. I'm with my my home. I'm on home turf. You might bring a slice. Yeah, home. A slice of pizza. Nah. <laughs> Touch my butt and give slice me pizza. For yeah, example. millennial, right <laughs> there. That's yeah. That. Zoomers, they do not eat pizza. What house are you? They, they don't, eat. They don't like. Blue, I'm definitely uh, Ravenclaw. I see, feel. he knew immediately what I meant. That is millennial as fuck. It's we're all millennial. They're, we're not zoom. You I might be zoomer. Full you're zoomer you're full days. zoomer. I'm, you're you're actually full zoomer. No, I'm daywalker, bro. No, no you're, you're not, not, man. You're full <laughs> zoomer. No, I'm daywalker. No, I'm not a full zoomer because I like alcohol and I yeah. hate weed. I like alcohol. See, like that's alcohol. the thing. I can go to the hookah bar. I can go to the regular bar. They accept me. At Why don't they have hookah bar? Why is there a hookah bar, but there's no cigarette bar? We can just smoke cigarettes and stuff. They, they got it in Pittsburgh, dude. Some of those. Hookah bullshit? Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Why do, the do hell did we do a, a show so you there? You saying a city made me remember. I want to do the plug at the top, but oh, I yeah. we'll do it. We'll do it eight minutes in. Um, guys, we're adding some shows to the tour. Oh, my God. Holy yes. fuck. These guys, these are yes. not your typical. And Julio, I'm going to send this picture to you right now so you can pull it up oh, on, on screen. I'm so strong from the new shows. Holy we're doing shit, the sketch. Oh. We're doing the sketch tour, of Look course, oh. that you guys all already know about and, and ah. bought tickets for. 
Um, he's been obsessed with my strength. He's I have been touching been. Patrick a lot, you, just trying to get him you to flex. Tried man. To, you tried to fully he molest me He doesn't care about earlier. my strength at all. You what? saw that too. I was. I did. Uh, see I put well, on I wasn't a, trying to molest you, man. You're being dramatic. Mm, he was you touching up. Yeah, you've never had no, a good friend before who touches I you. Felt, it's clear. I felt mm -hmm. what felt like a piece of wood touching the back of the chair. I had some wood. And you know what I'm saying. I'm construction That's not molestation. Construction vibes. Got the car. It's not molestation unless you ask you to touch it. Um, <laughs> By the way, we have shows. We have some shows here. We're doing the sketch shows with with Home Planet and Pierce. These ones are just us, just uh -huh. the trio. Some yep. podcast shows for you guys. We're hitting the major cities on this one that we haven't uh -huh. been to yet, guys. We are going to Minneapolis on March 30th at Sisyphus Brewing. We're hitting Detroit on April 3rd at Loving Touch. And, of course, the Jewel of America. We're going to Carborough, North Carolina on 426. Caleb tried to give me a Loving Touch earlier. So uh, I tried go to give you a jewel of me. These ticket links are <laughs> supposed to be up by the time this it's comes out. It's and how how much you try to fuck me. <laughs> they <laughs> might they might not be up on the website yet. But so if you, you go out. to the website, try to buy it, and you don't see them, just keep hitting F five for the next few days. But uh -huh. they're they're supposed to be up tomorrow. We'll see. I know at least Minneapolis is already up. Well, but. you and me have had so much tension over the years about our bodies being close to each other. And you guys I, have a real will they won't they? I feel like for me with both you guys. That's like it's a they will. will. Yeah, they mm -hmm. will. They, they will. are. They it's will. They will. They, they will, will again. Have, and that's <laughs> how shall. I feel about you and Jubio. You can't feel that way about some about this two other like, people. This is like if Fleetwood Mac, if they were are you all, feel a will they, they won't they about boning? me and Jubio? You're saying that yeah. they well, me. You think me and him? If have Fleetwood done it. Mac was all doing it and they got along after they were all doing it, that's what this podcast. I would got be. an you argument. You guys have some kind of fear between you about. I got an bodies. Well, I got. I have no fear. He can touch me all he would like. I, I got into an argument with somebody yesterday about how they were like, yeah, I'm 0% gay. Somebody has to have talked about this before. They said, I'm 0% gay. And I said, but you would probably like it if it was the best one ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The, the hottest guy. But who, not yeah, even turns like the you best. On. The best experience. Anything that you think you don't like, the best ever of that thing we've definitely said like. this right, right no yeah it's like you're you get up in the you get up in the plane to go skydiving you're like take me back down i can't do it please mm -hmm. they go no nope, you're doing it you got your parachute on they push you out oh my god yeah oh my god i feel alive yep. for the first time in my exactly. life i feel alive this is I'm exactly thinking about it for months after uh-huh uh -huh. we've had Can't this conversation about yeah. we've you're had this conversation to go again the I wife to walks go again. in and you close your phone quick yep. because you're looking at skydiving trips <laughs> 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 It's never, jumping off of the bureau in your bedroom is never the same. Yeah. Never. Never. You have to go That's all the way. That's what I'm saying, man. Watching I videos of people like skydiving doesn't cut it anymore. No. I yeah. feel like everybody's so saying I'm straight and I, or I'm gay, but you've never had the best version of the it. other one. Yeah. So, because I think I, I think I used to think I didn't like sushi. And then I had very <laughs> expensive, nice sushi one time. And now I'm like kind of we, thinking about sushi more we've and then we've had also this conversation you, about food once you have the bet really yeah well i think that it also comes to sex experiences once mm -hmm. you've had the best of that once i've had the best uh different kind of sex now i'm looking of course it's, it's gonna feel good it's sex it's gonna yeah. feel amazing it's in the it's in the name mm -hmm. and then once i start <laughs> amazing sex amazing <laughs> sex is in the name <laughs> <laughs> Once I have the most amazing sex, I'm sure it would be amazing. Yeah. But then I'm gonna start. It's the it's just like the sushi. Now I'm getting grocery store sushi. Yeah. So right. So now, you're, yeah, you're like now is, you're, which is the best form of sushi? No, not well. Hey, it's crazy it's to me good. that you didn't like sushi before. Yeah, that is fucked. I it's weird. I didn't not like it. I just but you wasn't just like, said you didn't like. I didn't it. opt for. it I got ever. some this I weekend. I got grocery store sushi this weekend. Well, no, it was uh, the triangle. I got grocery store groceries this this week. Mm -hmm. And pray yeah. tell, pray tell yeah. about this grocery store groceries. What's your, what's your haul? Flatbread, <sighs> mozzarella, God and damn. pizza sauce. Guess what I was making with that? He's getting he's getting a big. pizza sandwich. Flatbread pizza, oh. y'all. He's getting he's getting gigantic. This guy. I thought you were gonna make pizza soup. I had Scott cereal pizza as well. Soup. <laughs> pizza soup. <laughs> that's that's leftovers, it. dude. When you yeah. make homemade pizza and you get the uh -huh. pizza soup for the rest of the, the week. Time. Oh my god, <laughs> yeah. it's so good. It's like a Thanksgiving sandwich. <laughs> Making pizza pepperoni soup, stock fish. for your pizza <laughs> soup. Pepperoni <laughs> stock. <laughs> 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 so good. Yeah, <laughs> pepperoni <laughs> stock is great. Yeah. But dude, on my pizza, I had some arugula. Oh. I had some prosciutto. Oh. <laughs> Not a pizza man. Yeah, that's a flatbread. Yeah, what was a flatbread pizza? Well, here, yeah, you already said it. Got a flatbread. Yeah. yeah. So wow. I don't really understand. Did you do pizza sauce? Yeah. As I said, pizza sauce. Wait, you did pizza sauce, arugula, and pepperonis? 
Not pepperonis. Prosciutto. 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 Yeah. Okay, this sounds like a pretty good pizza. Actually. It was. Yeah. It was okay. I think it was. I would. It would it's, be better the second time I made it. It's it got, a, if you put it in a wood fired oven, it would probably be amazing. Yeah, oh, yeah I definitely just get a wood fired it, oven. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking of that when I was making it. Um, you can get one for the home. There's cost three hundred dollars. Well, I was thinking just maybe putting wood into my gas powered oven. Hmm. Oh my! My oven has started smelling like gas again. I think it's happening once yeah. more. Yeah. It's well, you know that you know the, you know the burst of gas smell when you turn on your oven, when you start yeah. preheating your oven. That yeah. always gets me. I'm always like, whoa, yeah, whoa. Alex, and earlier, then it goes like a few minutes go by and it's going. Oh, okay. Yeah. We were having that uh, meeting earlier about those shows, and Alex was like, "Do we have a CO2 monitor in the house? I want to get one because it's starting to smell like gas." A and, CO2 uh, monitor. Yeah, that's what he said. Which I I didn't want to call him out, but yeah. I don't think that funny. Like, yeah. yeah. But uh, do we no, have a nitrogen smelled- monitor? <laughs> the air is seventy five percent nitrogen <laughs> in your house. You need to leave. But it, the air, his room is next to the kitchen, and the air smelled like that because I accident I was making a cream sauce type thing, and I needed it to simmer, and then forgot to turn the burner wait, off because it wait, was wait, so wait. low. Wait, let me stop you right there. You're telling me you were creaming, and your roommate smelled it. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. What the hell? Bro, what the fuck? It's what actually kind of gross. You were creaming out in the kitchen? Yeah, and I left the in burner the... on. I left the burner on for probably an you hour and a half. You were creaming. It was fire. What's Everybody the length smelled of, it? Um, it burned for an hour and a half. How long, <laughs> how long is X-Men Origins Wolverine? Stop talking about X-Men, bitch. Fuck off. No. Shut the fuck up. I'm sick of this I'm X-Men done with shit. The Once? other day, we get on a meeting, and he's he, we just came from the gym, and he's like, look what I found on the way back from the gym. Two giant X-Men comic books. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, man. <laughs> Do you, th- I've been watching now you're, them now all you're month. changing the universe. You're changing reality to give you free X Men stuff. And that's my power. You're okay, not. A, yes. You're not an Omega am, level mutant. I am an Omega level you're mutant not. who can bend reality to my will. You are not an Omega level mutant. Mm-hmm. I had a really a thought that was really at first it kind of tickled me pink, and then it started to. I can't tell if this is a cogent thought at all. Okay. But I want to tell you guys this thought I had about The Simpsons. I was watching The Simpsons. I've yes. been rewatching. Were you watching? I can the tell X-Men you're watching episode. The Simpsons because you I wore was, a Simpsons skin shirt. Oh my God! I would kill The Simpson. One of the less important you, ones. You skinned so that a Simpson alive cares. and you made a yeah. shirt with him. Hans Mole Man. But can you imagine living in the Simpsons universe, living in Springfield mm-hmm. along with the Simpsons? And every time you watch TV, it's like someone else from your town. It's always like, oh, they're interviewing my doctor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Dr. Hibbert again. Oh, that's Krusty the Clown. They're interviewing the guy. No, there's my neighbor. Oh, that's my son. <laughs> every single time. It's yeah, like, somebody else you know. You from- only have public access at yeah. that point. Like, it's what just the hell? so funny that it's like they're interv- they interview like, oh, this is Dr. Nick Riviere. And they're like, oh, that's that doctor I've seen like <laughs> the 15 to 20 times sucks. before. <laughs> yeah. Oh, these are all. Oh, they're. Oh, Apu's on TV. TV now. Yeah, oh, this okay. guy. It, would, it guess, would be so incredible to watch TV and every time it's a different it person just, from yeah, your life. Like I, haven't people, you know. seen, yeah. I haven't seen too much of The Simpsons. I've seen enough. But that's like, crazy. Uh, that is crazy. Which, yeah. what that's a reveal seen? to me. I was that watching, reveal. well, when that's I was like a kid, I didn't not watch this. Girls. I didn't see The Simpsons until I was in seen like girls either. middle school. Girls but are so funny. I watch I watch yes. Family Guy in South Park. We could, then I think it, you can tell because of my you, twisted mind. You but, are not. Uh, that means that you're not like like me and Cameron. People yeah. see us and they smell Harvard, right? Yeah. Because we grew up with the Simpsons. pedigree. You yes, can, exactly. You see pedigree. me. Wit. You see me. As, acerbic. They wit. look at you. You're mutt. thinking. Uh, yeah, no, you're they're shit. thinking Plymouth State University, maybe. Mm. Maybe uh, Keene State University. Isn't it ironic? These that kind of universities the who, that have who parties. Who watches the show Community probably goes to a professional writing school rather than yeah. a community college. Interesting. That's it's right. That's right. And I've been to two. I've been to two community colleges. And you watch Community? I never watched it. There you go. Yeah, you made Community be very, very different. Yeah. Because these, it's clear watching that show that these people have never been to a community. No, college. they don't know no. about the Rubik's Cube. Cute They're like, kid. oh, what happens at community college? Probably a blanket for <laughs> There is always in every single every community college I went to. Tournament. Every community college I went to, kid walking around the school who is practicing Rubik's Cube speed thing with one Let hand. Let me say that also guy's smarter than anybody. Here's yeah, a, why is he there? Here's a roast for the TV show community. Yeah. That's a boring ass name for a TV show. Yep. Damn it. Blam. Yeah. Blam laughter. <laughs> Yeah, that's a better name. Community, it's a boring word. Jazz. What, you, all you have to open the thesaurus to find that one? There was a show called Kablam. I don't know if you knew this. Really? Yeah, on Nickelodeon. Well, oh. I just said Blam Laughter. He said well, Blam Laughter. Kablam. Blam Laughter is also a Blam, Blam Laughter. Is a good it's name. Not a Blam, one. exclamation point, colon, laughter. Mm. Laughter at six. And then six. you could also do Blam Sorrow. 
And it's clear to me mm. that the people who wrote the office Blam never worked in yeah. an office either. Yeah. They yep. all, well, they worked at Harvard University. Can you imagine how amazing? We should write a show called Writer's Room. Yeah. That is nothing like an actual writer's yes, room. Yes, because we've never been in one of these. And yeah. here's the thing, Paul Provenza. Yep. You're not in the green room. You're on a stage. There's thousands of people around you. Yeah. You're in the middle of it's the not Just the for green Laughs room. Festival. You idiot. He's so dumb, Paul Provenza. But one of the best stand-ups of all time. <laughs> yeah, everyone talks about his stand-up. Everyone says, dude, you should have seen Paul Provenza back uh-huh. in the day. He has a... Is it... Have you seen that one episode of Green Room where he's wearing that d- T-shirt no. that says, we are all African? No. I, I want that T-shirt so that's a, um That's a Richard Dawkins T-shirt. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> we are Richard all Dawkins African. is, uh, I think, in his Twitter picture, is wearing that shirt. That's badass. Yeah. So it's like... A, it was like an early... Uh, or late 2000s, like atheist thing yeah. is being African. Yeah. Well, because the, we the are all African. origin yeah. of the human race and but the land just, bridge. Uh-huh. But you know, they say maybe that there that some Native American people were here. They were in America. Even they didn't uh, emigrate from Africa. What was or the Asia. first? Where? Who was the first guy who transformed from a? I mean, imagine how weird that was being born and you're a man and you have two monkey parents. Well, yeah. even more than that, man, they the Neanderthals and the Homo sapiens, they coexisted. They were around at the same time. And Neanderthals probably died out because Homo sapiens just like outcompeted them for natural resources. So it'd be like you and your Neanderthal bros, you'd like get up and it's like, all right, time to go hunting. Mm-hmm. Let's go kill a woolly mammoth. We got our, our rock with a vine around it that we yep. swing around our head and but throw they it at the mammoth. Just using and, their sh- hands. and it's literally it's like a it's like a it's like the movie where it's like a movie where the big company comes in and and, and fucks up the like little <laughs> the little <laughs> bi- small business. The you, you show up to the mammoth hunt, and there's a bunch of Homo sapiens and they got swords and shit. Yeah. And they're they're full knights. You're fucked. They're not yeah. killing you, but they're they're getting all the stuff. They definitely no killed. Stung. They killed. They also Singer. interbred, I think. Ooh. They were into bread. Can you imagine COVID having? Vibes. Can you imagine? <laughs> can you? <laughs> Damn, that was, that was crazy. Uh, wait. Yeah, wait. Give me oh, some. Wait, hold of on, that. hold on. <laughs> yep. Into bread. COVID. That was a really fucking good one, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you imagine having a situation where it's like, it's possible, and I won't say acceptable, but it's possible for you to be like, "Damn, I'm gonna fuck someone of a different species." <laughs> <laughs> I'll yeah. just be like sitting around with your boys at the bar and be like, damn, like I'm really into Neanderthal yeah. girls. <laughs> yeah. What's your I mean, type, man? I hate to bring yeah, it back like to girls X-Men. Who are other species. I hate to bring it back to X-Men. No, I don't. But you love to. That man. is definitely, there's definitely a mutant chaser type of guy well, yeah. where in the is X-Men the, universe. Where is the, co- the uh, but he family? Wants to fuck like Where's the family comedy? or something, yeah. right? Homo superior. Where is the yeah. family comedy about the, the Homo sapien bringing in Neanderthal Crudes. to Christmas dinner? Is that in Croods? No, but it could be. Croods 5. They, Harry they keep, and the Henderson. They no, keep that's those out. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a great idea, mm. I think. Yeah. Guess who's coming? <laughs> Guess Ook. Guess Ook's <laughs> Guess Ook's coming Guess to dinner. Ook's <laughs> ugging. Guess Ook. Guess Ook's ugging <laughs> do dinner. <laughs> to dimper. <laughs> Guess Ook's ugging to dimper. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great idea. That's an movie, incredible man. idea. That's a yeah. really, really good so idea. The whole is movie is in subtitles. Yeah. It's just well, no, the the Homo sapien speaks just English. He's just yeah. like a guy with a like a my favorite, sweater uh, vest on. My yeah. favorite uh, Neanderthal fact is back when they first were discovering Neanderthals, the early scientific name for them mm-hmm. was Homo stupidus, <laughs> 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 and they changed it. They were literally calling <laughs> stupid homos. <laughs> I didn't know science had a. I didn't know science had a Homo name for you. St- Homo stupidus. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, stupid academic so papers. Awesome. Like, we have discovered Homo stupidus. Yep. <laughs> and they're like, no, he's right next to me. <laughs> that's an amazing. Yeah, name. Homo stupidus is awesome. Is that one of those things where the, I mean, that's clearly Latin, but maybe a guy was named Homo stupidus, and they named him after that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. stupidus. You John look. stupidus. Yeah, or or the guy's name was not Homo stupidus, and they were like, this, he's named after you. <laughs> <laughs> I know oh, they pulled really? that. <laughs> yeah. He's really named after me. They were the old scientific names, they they got to bring that style back, man. Nowadays, yeah. it's all naming them after people, but back in the day. Fuck all that. Like grizzly bears, their name is uh, Ursus something horribilis. I like that. That's yeah. great. It should that all be sick. like that. Horribilis. It, horribilis. Ooh. Which I think that of bears horrible is bear. extremely cute. Yeah, but yeah. not grizzlies, man. I've been I seeing these even grizzlies. They have hunchbacks like Quasimodo. My Did grandma had a hunchback like Quasimodo. I saw that bear. That bear video. 
What bear? Where the lady gets a the the bear has like a deli cup stuck on its head, and she takes the deli cup off of the bear's head, and then the bear brings his mom to her house, <laughs> and keeps trying to like like just like showing the the cub is showing his mom just like this is this lady's yeah this is my OG right here. This lady took the cup off. This my head. lady took, took the, the cup, cup off, off my, my head. head yeah. She's she's my number well, one. What That's if the crazy, bear mom put I want the her cup to be my there. new mom? What if it was a punishment? Maybe. Yeah, and, and the like, mom's coming over. Yeah. Like, Who took that cup off your head? I put the cup mom? there. I didn't take it off myself. <laughs> I swear. Yeah. I was it was this there. lady in this house. Yeah, I'd be pretty pissed if I was the the mama bear. Yeah, yeah. they're taking my you kid out of time. You don't ever take out. a cup off of. I can imagine some. I can imagine a Karen in a restaurant saying that, like, she's oh, sitting yeah. down, she goes to the bathroom, she leaves her her toddler at the table and with a cup on his head, and the waiter on. comes over and takes the cup off. Oh, what's? That'd be a bad punishment, man. Yeah. Cuphead. I, oh, my God, I, I hate that. Well, we need to bring back cool punishments for kids. Cause like go, what? Well, like glue your hands to your head or yeah. something. Yeah. It needs to be more doing eye for that? an eye. I don't know. It mm. needs to be more you do something you bar get. Bar of soap as or a classic. Like, yeah, bar of soap be, is a good example. It should be but, you know, hazing like, stuff. It I had be, the bar of soap as a kid. I got that. I would mm. swear. I think I got the bar of soap maybe once. I, I had to use times. Listerine because my mom knew that I hated Listerine so badly. Hmm. That's weird. Well, it burns. My my well, my most uh, that means it's working. The punishment kid memory I have the most is that my dad. I forget what I even did, but my dad was like, "I'm gonna." I had a bunch of little like Pokemon figurines of mm-hmm. different Pokemon. I had, like a bunch of them that I would play with, and my dad was like, uh, "Oh, like you did this, whatever." Uh, I'm gonna take away your favorite Pokemon toy, and I would be like, I was like. Uh, my favorite's a uh, meow. <laughs> like, <kinda laughs> <lying. laughs> my favorite. Yeah. Just pick the lamest Don't one. Take the Don't mouth. Yeah. Mouth. Oh, I just had this, this fucking just gay being Xbox. a little kid doing the the worst the worst lie of all time, and him completely knowing which one is my favorite. Yeah. too. just trying to pass it off. Be like, no, this uh, <laughs> this one's my favorite. Take this. One. Don't take this one, please. Yeah, I can't. I feel like I'm gonna be probably seeing right through that with my kid yeah. for sure yeah as a kid you always think you're a genius and then i feel like you think back and you're like oh yeah yeah i used to think that i'd be able to hide myself in the love seat like i would i would <laughs> that's different i would i would what? think i, I thought that i was that, so, so what does that stealthy mean? And, we're talking and about genius. lying and you're like i thought i could fit inside I thought the I could I thought I could, furniture <laughs> i thought that i could i would position my body so that it i thought that i would look like a cushion when i did this and I would like you'd go fold. under the cushion. No, I would be in the middle of the chair, and I would try to see how um, if I could cover the whole uh, cushion of the love seat. It was like yeah, it's not a love seat; it's more like a chair. You but thought you were a I salamander. That, I thought that I could look like a cushion, and every single time my mom would walk in and say, "What the fuck?" You, are you thought doing? you were doing the scene from Lord of the Rings where they become a rock. Yes. What are you talking yeah. about? I just still don't understand. You thought you could look like a cushion. He just explained it. He thought he was like covering himself up, or did you cover yourself up with a blanket or anything? I think so, yeah. Yeah, you know, like you've seen Lord of the Rings where they become a rock. Do you, you know? thought you had active camo? Yes. I could imagine be thinking that as a kid. Uh-huh. I'm sure I thought something you? similar. Than I that. was probably five or six. 16, 17? That's not. So yeah, five or 16. <laughs> That's Anywhere not... between five to sixteen, I tried this. You were a quite dumb child. <laughs> I was very dumb. You I, were t- quite I mean, I told dumb. you before, I got my head stuck in a reclining chair. You get the hell away from these chairs, bitch. <laughs> you are not allowed to touch the chairs anymore. I don't anymore. think there's any chair. There is a chair in my house, and I do sit in it now because I have think I've Did conquered the chair. Did you just wonder if you had a chair <laughs> in your house? <laughs> I was going to say there's no, like, uh, sofa-type chairs oh, in my man. house. I used to think my... But I've definitely conquered the my chair My grandpa at this point had a lazy boy. Uh-huh. You know yeah, you. Do your damn chores. He's not his grandpa's boy. I'm not my grandpa. I'm his, I'm his grand boy. What's this Listerine? Don't even. After I, I have say bad that breath? I was, after I say that no, I was I tortured with Listerine oh. as a child, you pull out a Listerine thing. Do you want one? No. I'll take one after we. Record, Unless I do but something I'm bad. My coffee. Okay. If I say something bad, then you can. Give me <laughs> oh, I. I'll. I'll have these on reserve. Okay. Thank you. My dad has. My dad smells like those all day. Yeah. Yeah, because he pops them like. Like they're nothing. That's what I've been doing. Yeah. I bought these and that's what I've been. I don't. Doing. Like I had to. I had to. Uh, 
I got my blood drawn this morning, yep. and I had to. And guys, I'm going back to the doctor to get my results, and I'm planning to scream at her for no reason. Just so you know. What nice. do you mean? Just I want to be mad at her. All right, let's her. do that. Oh, thank. Hey, Mr. Federer, so thank just, you so much for coming. No, in today. I can't. I I can't. I I have to pent. I, it's pent up. Uh-huh. I'm ready Boiling. to let it loose. You gotta get like a pot um, so of I'm just I'm just letting you know so I can report on it again next week because I'm seeing her next. But week. But like, what are you gonna scream at her about? Just blood? everything I can. My blood, whatever my blood results are, any upcoming oh. appointments I have. I'm just I'm gonna I'm ready to. To take my war to the next level but anyway i had to fast um for it and mm. i could part of the fast is you can't even chew gum you're not Why? supposed to chew gum i don't know heavens but that's what it says it says you know no no eating no drinking anything other than water no drinking alcohol no smoking can you have no wine? strenuous exercise yeah wine is good for you wine is alcohol by the way what? um and no chewing gum even if you and spit I, it out it made me it gave me the most clear moment of lucidity in my life that guys right now i'm completely addicted to chewing gum Mm. You are. I'm I remember so addicted to chewing gum I, so badly, so hopelessly addicted. I went, I full guy quitting cigarettes, reached for a piece of gum and had to like say no 10 times. Yeah. Wow. Like over the like, you know, this is like in the fast. The fast is like probably total like three hours of being awake time. You know I what I mean? Remember. Like it's not like I'm like all day. It's yeah, like right before I go to bed, uh-huh. I reach for the gum. No. We were going to Pierce's show and I was at your house and your fiance was asking you about the gum and you said, this is the last two pieces, and then you pulled out another big thirty-six. <laughs> you have the count. briefcase. He has the briefcase wow. of gum. It's not yeah. a briefcase; it's a cylinder. Yeah, that's still, he has the eclipse. Oh, the eclipse. Oh. Gum. Do they make briefcase? You've yeah. never seen the the the, the big really one. long ones you can get at Costco. I'm gonna get that. Yeah, the, I gotta I, say, uh, dude. Julio, the other day, Julio, I joined a uh, Discord call with Julio, and he said, "I said I was chewing. I forgot I was said something about gum, and he said you don't like gum." And it made me so mad. I turned on my camera and I had like four <laughs> different yeah, types yeah, of gum yeah. on the desk in front of me. I was showing them all yeah. to him. That I is, saw your gum desk, dude. I saw it. That is a 12 year old addiction. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's. I'm glad I'm not addicted to Zen. Mm. You need to get addicted to something even better than that. Yeah. No, I like gum, man. You're going to like my thumb. I like your thumb already. Really? <laughs> Chew it's, on it's it. Fine. But it's so Prove ugly. It. <laughs> it's not that bad. Chew on his thumb. Look at this thumb. It's not that bad. Look at, look at this one. Look at my slender thumb. Oh, my you God. Have a slim I, thumb. I have a cut from my cat. Slim thumb, uh, mother thumb. Uh. And also a scar, and it's making an X. Stop. That's crazy. Stop. Don't even say what I think you will say. You're not going to say it, right? Charles Xavier would not fuck with you, by the way, you in real life. He would literally say, he would listen to the last episode and hear what you said about people in wheelchairs. He would call well, you. Which that's, say about which that's in behind paywall, so if you're not subscribed, okay, no, don't, you can't give any details no, no, and you I won't know give, what he said. No, 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 no. Just that it was bad. I said, okay, let me clear the air. I, Caleb said that people in wheelchairs have Ganondorf powers for some reason. And I said, I'm crazy, man. I don't know. I don't remember For why. For some reason. I'm I don't remember why, fuck. but Caleb said they have some hidden Ganondorf power and, and then they <laughs> become Ganon. And I said, yes, yeah, stay a pig. You said go back to be. You said you would see I someone said, in a wheelchair stand up and say, go back to being a pig. Because I them. got I got confused. I forgot that when Ganondorf becomes Ganon, he becomes a pig. Nobody knows what Ganon you're talking is a, about. Uh, the, they will know what Ganondorf I'm talking about. Ganondorf is from Super Smash yeah, Brothers, and, Ganondorf and he does a is super the punch. Ganondorf is the man. Ganon is the pig creature. I don't go know what the fuck you're talking about. Shut the hell up. Ganon is a pig creature. No, You've become look. a nerd. You've become a full nerd. I have become a You're talking about I'm X-Men and out. Ganondorf, That's man. hardly a pig. That's a pig. Okay, what kind a of hog. What kind of pig? <laughs> <laughs> He's got hooves. Okay, I'll give you that. He's kind of a hog. He's got hooves and hands. Pigs He's a hog. No, but he has hands and hooves. Oh, well, you said he has hooves. Like, that was a disqualifier. But he's type of pig. <laughs> That's not a pig, man. That's a fucking he's limb type monster. Of, type of pig. He has a cheese sword in this picture. <laughs> yeah. That sword is made of cheese. None of these are And what are goes pigs, good with ham? I don't want to look at any more Swiss. pictures. No, I Swiss, a holy cheese. We're moving on it's to the hold. episode now. All right, hold, we're done. Right. We're done Jeez. with your. All right, we can jump to walk right in. Pig stuff. We can jump right in to today's episode, uh, which is okay. Go ahead and introduce. Welcome to our new our new game show that is uh, actually adopted from an old game show. The price is just right. The price is just right. The price is right. My pride is right. My pride is ride. My pride is ride. Guys, today we found some funny-ass listings for items to buy on the internet. 
But we're hiding the prices from each other, mm -hmm. and, and we're we going to see guess. if we can guess the prices. Oh my god, this is an amazing idea. I'm pretty excited for this. I found some good stuff. I, I mean, I can go first if you guys, mm -hmm. do you guys want Let's me? just go in t order of tabs. Okay. All right, I'll go first, guys. Um, and today I made a title slide by searching Whoa. Google. Oh, I wish I did that. Because Julio always tells me, to, or he always passive aggressively wants me to make a title slide. Da -da 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 -da. That's Nickelodeon. Is, that's, that's the Price is Right. That's Nickelodeon. So I don't actually. I never actually watch the Price is Right or know any really? details about it. Yes, yeah, it's so amazingly fucking awesome. If I'm doing anything wrong, you guys have to tell me. But Who is Price is Right? That was Bob Barker, not Pat Sajak. Pat Sajak, I believe, became. No, he's no. Wheel of Fortune. Drew Carey right. became. Drew so Carey. Julio, on this one, you have to make sure that only go to the next slide when I say next slide because you can't. You're going to be giving away spoilers. We can't spoil uh -huh. nothing on this. Um, so hey, let's start with our first item that okay. you guys need to guess the price on. Can right. I say this, one thing real yeah, quick? You can say some stuff. You can say as I much think as you that want. If it's your show. in the world, Kayla, if Cameron is Drew Carey, then Julio would be his Mimi. Who's Mimi? Okay, well, that if you watch the Drew Carey show, what the hell is that? You'll just look up Mimi Drew Carey show and you'll know. No. No. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's take a look at our first item from eBay, guys. All right. This next slide, please. This is an item called <laughs> Slime Types <laughs> Fluffy, Foam, and Normal. Okay, this so is brand new or best offer with free shipping. So and I got, I got multiple. I mean, you can analyze for, this as much as you want, but I got multiple who, slides. People listening, multiple this is slimes. a. I just want to say what this, what this item is. It's a Rubbermaid uh, Tupperware with, it looks like some kind of white oobleck type thing. Right. It is sitting mostly sitting And let's hit next slide here so you can see some more pictures that are included with this listing, and you can describe these to the listeners. Let's uh -huh. see the next slime. Oh, wait. So this, is, this is slime types, fluffy foam, and normal. So they have many of these. I okay, so these are all, it looks like they ate Chinese food and then yeah. used the Tupperware to put slime into mm -hmm. it. Uh, and they're all white. They kind of some of them have pink. sort of a f yeah. Well, one is one is pink, but they all are uh, plain except for one has sort of a fruit cake style. Yeah, yeah jelly bean mode. Thing. Jelly bean mode. Exactly. Jelly bean mode. I would say for that one. I um, came up with that. And then next slide here. These are the last details about this item. It's brand new, unused, unopened, undamaged item in its original packaging. The brand is slime, and the type is fluffy slime. Now, okay. guys, based on these details, what do you think the price is without going over? All together? Uh, it doesn't say. For every slime. I think that it's for every slime. I'm going to say. It's a package. I think it's a package, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say wait, what $40. do they call that? The price is right. You're saying what? $40. $40. <laughs> for the locking whole in, locking in? Locking I'm going in to, at $40. Okay. Oh, I should have right, got, wait, wait. got some, some sound effects for this, damn. I'm yeah. going to just make one up. Ketchup. We have plenty of them. <laughs> That's a good sound effect. Uh, yeah, you can keep that one for that. So that was, was I'm going to say... Will, that, well, I'm not, I'm not revealing anything, and I'm just finding sound effects. And then this is if you're right. Okay. okay. So he said 40? Yeah. I'm going to say... Man, I'm going to go 100. I'm going to change my uh, answer to 50, can, and they're $10 each. You can't change it. You already said locked in. Okay, well, I unlock but my I'll, lock. Okay, I'll let you change it. To 50. I'll let you change it because, Patrick... Uh, next slide, please. Caleb, the price of these slimes... Two hundred, two hundred and ten dollars. One point, Caleb. One point, Caleb. The slimes are expensive, you guys. I could have guessed that. I wish I we did. had. A, I wish we had a ticker that we could put the points on. Yeah, I'll we take you. Should have thought about this through, maybe. That's flicking. All right, guys. I just realized. Let me get to. Let me get to my next item here. This is oh, an I'm item. Done. Okay, thank you. Trick. This is an item on the next slide here that is next called slime. dog mating toys. <laughs> <laughs> this is on Timu, and I had to censor some stuff on this. Okay, I had to so censor some on the picture and such. So this, <laughs> wow. I've never thought of this. I'm going to buy one of these. This is a, it's a stuffed dog that looks like it has a pussy hole. Or yes, asshole. this is a censored dog pussy. <laughs> it's a dog Venting sex toy. Venting fidget toy. toy. It's so this, is called, this is an item called Sleep Estrus <laughs> Dog Toy Simulation Mating Toy Plush Poodle Vent Fire Estrus Partner Mating Sexual Companion Venting Fidget Dog Toy. Okay. And now something to know about this. Here's a detail. This is an item that is on sale. And this is for... So a, where this a, is about the sale price. This is okay. an active dog, a, a dog that is... Uh, wanting to mate, yeah. but is locked up, and you let it fuck this. Let's look at some more pictures well, here. Okay. Hope ne so. Next slide. Um, the features it has are <laughs> simulate appearance, which is again censored. That is a <laughs> fleshlight hole for a dog <laughs> pussy. Simulated <laughs> rabbit hair, and a suction cup base. So this is known as a mating over. sexual companion. Okay, so this is for like a dog breeder. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is it's, crazy to it's think n- about. It's not for a dog breeder. This is for your dog who is frustrated and tries I to hump think legs all the this time. This feels to me like maybe a cover up. Yeah. yeah. Now let's go to the next slide here. <laughs> Let me read you the description. Here's some more pictures <laughs> of it in use. Oh my Here's God. the description. <laughs> no, lubricants is not included. Oh. One, dogs with estrus behavior at home, holding legs, riding over dolls, making love to the air, etc. Only chasing female dogs outside and not estrus behavior at home are not recommended to buy. Two, dog cannot be too stupid. <laughs> if your dog belongs to what cannot teach, a few years will not be fixed to the kind of toilet. Do not recommend to buy. Okay. Three, the host needs to be patient. Dogs are emotional creatures too, and mating doesn't happen all the time. It may not be used on the spot, but dogs with estrus behavior will use it sooner or later under the patient guidance of their owners. And now to the thing you spoke about, about a cover-up. I'd like to, this next slide, I'd like to read a review from this. Four stars, color khaki. The one in the photo looks bigger than the one I got. Might be a little too small for my dog, (laughs) as he is bigger than this. Oh, okay. This is really truly vile. So guys, I'm going to tell you also this is this I'm going to tell you what the it's on sale. Okay. It's on sale 68% off. So you're you're looking for the current the, the sale price. I think that this $10. also uh, one thing on this is I think this might be a new leader for number one worst thing to be reincarnated as in, yeah. <laughs> in your next life if you wake up and you're you can't move and you have four limbs and they're suction cup to the yeah. ground, you're in for a very rough one. Uh, this is going to be, this is a $10 item on sale from $70. I'm going to say the original <laughs> price locked in. I'm going to say the original price. You don't have to guess the original 12, price. No, but, I, but, it, but if it's $68, if it's 68% off, I might as well guess. Twelve ninety. I'm going to guess the original guess. price. Twelve ninety eight. Okay. Original price was 200. <laughs> Current price is 84 or no 30. You said 68 off. Yeah. Okay. Then 34, 64. <laughs> <laughs> choose a you guys choose a $64, number. Sixty four dollars. That's locked in. Okay. All right, Patrick. Oh. You were not that close, but you did not go over. Oh, I'm Caleb, you've gone over Dude, the price. I was it was forty eight fifty one. The original price one hundred and fifty five dollars and fifty three cents. Oh God, man, I had a better so you, guess. That's, and that's pretty cheap. If anyone wants to buy one of these to yeah. use for their dog. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's I guarantee that's what that review is. That man. is so bad. Yeah. It's pretty terrible. All right, let's go to a, nor- oh, a more normal that. one. Okay, next slide, please. Izod men's saltwater <laughs> stretch flat front chino <laughs> pants, color cadet navy straight, size 30 width, 32 length, condition new with tags. Next slide, please. Easy transaction. Thank you. This is on eBay. This is on eBay. Why is this in here? This is uh, even, this is just a pair of ca- yeah. This is of, regular of, uh, pair of khakis. They're not khakis. They're navies. Well, this is a chinos. pair of navy chino pants. So I, I guess I the mean, price. Uh, uh, Izod. That's a that's like a department store brand. Yeah. I'm right. gonna say this is forty five ninety nine. These are, and I'm gonna use my clothing brain. These are probably twenty five ninety nine. Okay. Let's reveal the price. One hundred seventy-six thousand two hundred and three dollars and five cents. So Caleb, you were closer, but you're a little off. I'll, t- I'll take the point. Listen, I was playing to win, not playing to fucking be exact, right? I knew. So then again, these are still up on eBay. Anybody wants to yeah. go buy these? It's an easy transaction. So uh, you know, does it come with the to- guy? It I must. think it might, must come with a guy. It has to come with a price. guy for that price. Yeah. yeah. A new friend. All right. Here's the here's the next eBay item. This is Taki Ball. Okay. Wait. This I, is an eBay bid. This is a Taki Ball. And uh, this is next slide, please. Item description from the seller. I was opening a bag of Takis and found this. I was thinking of eating it, but I thought I could auction it. So, yeah. Some ideas for it. You can put it in a grinder and have Taki seasoning or whatever you want. This is ten dollars starting bid. Yeah, we're guessing starting bid. Starting bid? Oh man. I'm gonna say I will say twenty dollars. I think that this is a novelty spice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Caleb. Shit. Patrick. Oh. It was four dollars. It was four dollars. That's a good deal. I would have buy that. that. For a a taki ball? A taki ball? He's right. You could grind that. Okay, but what about this one? Black taki chip rare. Guys, this is a black <laughs> talkie chip like that looks like poop. <laughs> yeah, it looks like talkie chip. It shit. looks like goose poop. Mm. How did you find this? I searched talkie. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Here's the item description for this one, guys. Black Taki Chip Rare. Condition is new. Shipped with USPS Ground Advantage. It's not new. I'm going to guess $10 again. What, what would it be in a post? I mean, it, like he, well, it's put like it, used he put it in his mouth and then <laughs> started yeah. selling it. It's basically new. It just looks like a burnt chip. Yeah. But how much do you think it's worth? It's rare. $10. Starting I feel bid. like you're trying to lead me astray by saying it's rare because anything that's rare should be over $100. I don't think that somebody's paying 100 bucks or even thinking that somebody will pay $100 for a black chip. <laughs> so I am going to say $75. $75. Yeah. Okay, Caleb, you are the closest. It is $300. Oh Guys, this is a rare black chip. It's three hundred dollars. What do you do with that? You just eat it. You put I it. Guess. You frame it <laughs> in a, a in black a plastic bag. Yeah. I would want to know. You know what I would cover do? it in resin. You know what I would do is I would take this and I would take it to a a testing facility to find out what was in this chip. Yeah. Because right. that is not pure Taki seasoning. I can tell no, just no. by the color. So this next one, moving on from Takis, we have another eBay listing. Manipulation Demon Ring, Ooh. Mind Control, Power, Wealth, Dark Demonic, Magic, Satanic. Okay. And here's the description. This is Zerotia. Can you feel her strength? Do you feel her magic calling to you? A special conjure. Epic energies of power burst from Zerotia. And the next slide here. Uh, she is a godlike, powerful psychic being with telekinetic abilities for exceeding that of your average psychic spirits. Dark power and sacred forces awakened. Let her share her powerful psychic abilities with you. Mind reading, mind control, will manipulation, force manipulation, future sight, psychic visions, ancestral knowledge, ancient secrets revealed, telekinetic force, and creation and destruction of spirits through telekinetics. This is $450. I, okay. I am going to make a tactical move. Okay. All right. Because uh, I know where this came from. This is on eBay. They have a section called Metaphysical. Yes. Mm -hmm. And which is an amazing discovery. I had it's no great. idea that they had a metaphysical section. And I scrolled through the metaphysical section and they were exorbitantly priced, I would say. Oh, a man. lot of items like this. So you already said $450. i I don't know exactly what the price was. I know it's going to be high. I will say four hundred fifty-one dollars. Wow. Okay. And and we need to we need to t take turns with first bids because yeah. okay. this is I'm I'm tricking you every time. Yeah. Yeah. I pretty much am winning for. So easy. Caleb, your cheating strategy has paid off. Yes. This price is fourteen hundred dollars. Oh, yes. For yes. basically every power available in the world. <laughs> yeah. well, it seems like an amazing deal. Also. So guys, this is my last item. This next one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. This is a domain name. MrDapper.com premium domain name from my things sale 24 <laughs> seven. You can buy the domain name MrDapper.com. What do you think it is worth to have a website called MrDapper.com? Okay, so I have to guess first this time. I will say MrDapper.com is going to be $7,000. Okay. Mm. Okay. Well... I'm going to say 7,001 because of free local pickup. Okay. <laughs> it has free local pickup, so it's definitely around there. Or this could be, you know what I'm going to say? What? Actually, I'm locking in at 1 million. Really? Mm hmm. Okay. Patrick? $11 million, $11,329,200. Oh, my God. You won with the million-dollar guess? Wow. It's too good of a site Do you game. guys think MrDapper.com is worth $11.3 yes, million? Absolutely. Dollars? If you create a streaming service with it. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. With all kinds of just movies for Dapper Men. You'll make your yeah. money back with that one. Every Hitchcock movie on yeah. Mr. Dapper, yeah. every James Bond Mr. on Dapper. Mr. Dapper. Oh, my God. What what a Mr. Dapper. Or it could be like Mr. Skin, and it's a website of just guys looking good in movies. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, guys. <laughs> looking it's, smart. It's or, every, uh, every, uh, every, <laughs> every time that, a, that an actor wore a suit in a movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it tells you what suit they're wearing. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay, so Mr. Dapper.com was... Uh, uh, so that's my segment, guys. Much, much more expensive than I thought All it was right. Well, here is my... Oh, my God, I'm being past the... What is oh. this? Is it? Okay. All right. All right. I mistake. have the I have them out now. I had no which one is which. Now, my first item is from Timu. Okay. And this is a political item. 
Uh, oh, brother. For a Trupham 2024 <laughs> hat. <laughs> <laughs> a Trupham 2024 hat. A truck hat that says Trupham. <laughs> Trupham. Trupham. Take America back. Okay, who's guessing first? Is this uh, well, all the okay. info? This oh. is the lowest price ever. Okay. I want to let you know that already. The lowest price ever, and it is on sale. If it's on Timu, I'm gonna say, I'll guess first. Three twenty nine. Okay, three twenty nine. Really? Three dollars okay. twenty nine cents. <laughs> You know, I'm going to go. I know that misprints can often fetch a huge price tag that's on, on, the the market, on the secondary yeah. market. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go $4. Cameron? Okay. Mm. Ah. It is $2.79. Oh, Wait. so Caleb also. Why didn't you give me a buzz? Oh, man? you both get a buzz. <laughs> what, I, both like, know, I don't know the rules, rules really. Like, I think. Just without going over. Yeah. But okay, well, I you went, went over. More over yeah. I guess. So Cameron loses because we'll be he went more over. Neither of us get a point. Neither, a point. point. neither of you get a point. But you yeah. can also pay six, six, six sixty nine cents and four. Guess what I almost did. Guess what I almost did. That would have been a good idea. The afterpay on the Trippum hat. Trippum. And again, this is. I mean, this is a good deal because this is going to make a lot of money. Why the fuck have you not bought this? Two dollars. It's still up. Okay, you're buying this. All right, I'll buy it. Trippum. Trippum. Twenty twenty four. <laughs> All right, what else do you have? All right, this next one. This is a shirt from the same website. Ooh, whoa, wait. This is a swagged out <laughs> This uh, is a very, very cool shirt. Um, now, I want you guys to guess. Based on uh, this, this is the title of the item. Funny golden chain monkey 3D graphic print men's novelty shirt, sleeve shirt, crew neck t-shirt summer outdoor. And this is the, the the photo of the item. Is this guy? Thumbs this is up. this is a guy. Yeah, well, this guy looks kind of rich. Up. He yeah. does seem he rich. He has two me. bracelets. He's well, got well, the, those the are, rich those are, uh, uh, bracelets. No, those are that bracelet seasick. on the right is a seasick one. Yeah. yeah. So he probably owns a yacht. Oh, yeah, good point. Good point. Um, you know, I'm gonna go with. Is it on sale? Can we know that? It's not on sale. It's not on sale. I'm gonna go with six forty nine. Six forty nine. Six dollars okay. forty nine. For it's a Timu. Yeah. Yeah. Six forty nine. Okay. I'm gonna go one dollar. <laughs> one dollar. That is a really All safe right. guess for Timu, I guess. If that's one a, yeah. dollar, Caleb. Oh my god! Oh, oh wait, my Cameron god. was closer. Oh, wow! What was it it How is seven fifty nine. Wow! God damn it, man! That's a. I might buy this. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Cool. It's a good deal. All right, right. this next graphic. item was from an auction website of Hollywood memorabilia. Okay, cool. This is I Am Sam 2001 <laughs> Sam Dawson Sean Penn red with target name tag on the front uniform wear guard. Wait, it's the target <laughs> the it's uniform, the uniform that, that Sam I Dawson <laughs> wore in I Am Sam. <laughs> That's an and incredible piece being, of memorabilia. Is this auction over? This auction, I will say, is over. Oh, fuck God, that. can you imagine hanging this in your house like a jersey? <laughs> uh -huh. And I do want to say one they thing. They should retire it at Target. <laughs> yeah. They should. You can't they have totally Sam should. on your name no, tag anymore. that's retired. Um, you have to be careful when you're saying that <laughs> word about Sam. Yeah, Sam. I am Sam. <laughs> Sam from I am Sam is retired. <laughs> what? Um, I, will, I will give you this piece of information. Okay. It was not sold and the bidding is over. So we can still contact so this private this seller. You can contact this private okay. seller, yes. And this is, we're guessing the starting bid or the... Because it was not sold, meaning there nobody was bid there it. was one high. You're guessing the highest bid. Okay. How was it not? Yeah, sold? How was it not? I sold? don't know. Oh, I don't reach know. They the, probably it didn't reach the reserve price. Yeah, probably. Okay. Oh, okay. Does it say what the reserve price is? We're not yeah, guessing yeah. That. It you says should, it shouldn't. says what the high bid was. So guess the oh, high okay. bid. So he doesn't know what a reserve price is. No, I don't. Yeah, know. but we shouldn't hear the reserve price. I feel yeah. like no. Um. Okay. The highest bid for this. It's gonna be kind of low. I feel like if it's if it didn't meet the reserve. So I'm gonna say. $350. Okay, three fifty. You're and, locking in? And twenty five cents. Okay. Damn. Uh you know, I'm gonna try an undercut here. I'm gonna go two hundred dollars. I'm feeling I'm feeling the two hundred. Two hundred? You wanna lock in I wanna I would like to lock in two hundred dollars. Okay, so I you're both saying, locked target, in. Target yeah, I'm locked uniform. in three hundred and fifty and twenty five cents. Two hundred dollars and one cent. Well you guys. Mm. 
To both? To both of you. No way. We both to went both over? of you, it was one hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. No one really wanted this. No one wanted this bad enough. I bet three I bet two hundred was the reserve. I mean, I would have paid that no question. Yeah, mm. that's crazy. But this that's the other thing. You could just get this anywhere. What? Well, no, not, not, the, not, not one the that one that Sean was Penn's body. That's yeah. true. Yeah. And has a stink. Well, all right. Well, we'll just move on to the next one. And he's which, been all over the world. He smells like every food combined. That's true. Yeah. He was in Iraq yeah. during the so war. So him wearing for some that, reason. it's walking around. You're smelling all sorts of amazing spices. Exactly. You've never even had in your kitchen. And you, I mean, you also, you wear this out, out and about. They go, oh, my God. From I am Sam. Yeah. You don't even have it on. With the Sam name tag. <laughs> you don't even have on the shirt. <laughs> well, yeah, I have that at home. Yeah. <laughs> I am Sam. Yes. Oh, what a great costume. All right. This next one is from eBay. This is life-size Jack Sparrow Whoa. bus statue. Johnny Depp prop pirates movie Amber one to one. Now, why does it say Amber? Ready? 13,000. 13,000? No. 3,000. That's a huge swing. <laughs> that is a huge swing. That's, That's a, a massive swing. Difference. Let's split the difference. Eight thousand. Okay. I. This looks really good. If I just saw this picture, if I didn't get the description, I would go crazy high on this. And the yeah. reason is because it looks like a Mission Impossible Two mask. Yeah. Yeah. That maybe I could put it on and I could walk around and people might think I'm Depp. Mm -hmm. But I can't. I have a head already. I can't yeah. put this on top of my head and walk around and be trench a, coat. Be a dep. I mean, I get, yeah. but then I have an tall odd dep. But, uh, but then people know his body. Tall he's tall. Very people famous. know he's tall. Well, yeah. he's not that tall. And he doesn't have a long neck. Mm -hmm. Long head head uh, thickness. Torso. Neck. I am gonna say. <sighs> I'm gonna say fifty. I'm going to say $1,800 and $75 as well. $1,800 and you were... <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like there's no way I'm right. What, what was yours? Uh, $8,000. $8,000, $1,500, $1,700. I, I, I have to have gone Cameron? over, I think. Oh, my no God. Way. It was no 10900 Yo, 13000 would have been too much. Yep. Yeah. I felt it course through uh -huh. me. I felt Johnny Depp's spirit the, in the, my body. The curse of the Black Pearl. Oh, my God. Went into I your this from you Zynga. Have, you yeah, have and it's from Zynga Worldwide, yeah. LLC. Yeah. All right. Farmville. This, next, this is another thing from eBay. This is Bill Cosby signed Academy Awards <laughs> 11 by 14 photo, JSA. Okay, I I bid first, right? Yeah. yeah. Here's what I would pay for bid. this. <laughs> zero. My guess is zero. You're gonna okay, lock in at zero? Lock in zero. Okay, one cent. Okay, I'll do okay, two one cents. Cent. <laughs> one cent and two cents. You know what? I'm standing on my principles, so I'm fine with losing. I'm standing on business. Okay, no, well, not. Cameron was closest <laughs> to two cents. <laughs> How? Oh, wait. Who the hell? $425. $425. The serial rapist. <laughs> Right. Well, it's some signed. people. I mean, some people are into it's that signed. stuff like that. Jeffrey Dahmer, yeah. Ed Kemper, Bill you Cosby. Know, Bill Cosby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're all one and the same nowadays. I, I can't. Think he's I'm worse. trying to think of the other guy. I can't remember his name. Uh, well, while you're thinking Freddy about Kruger. that, the, people the have guy tons of Freddy Kruger. <laughs> Freddy Kruger hand and stuff. People buy this shit all the time. Ted Bundy. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. While you're thinking of the, or well, you already said Plankton. It. Uh, Plankton. <laughs> this next item. Seven and one sixteenth inches mega monster Whoa. megalodon shark That's tooth record one. size museum fossil teeth. Is it is it confirmed to be real? Yeah, do we know if it's a replica? I will say right now that this is from New York Island fossils. Okay, so probably, so probably real. Probably real. Uh -huh. I mean, these are expensive. I'm, I, yeah. I, well, it's your guess first. Yeah. Okay. Well, why don't you just say what yours is first, <laughs> just to okay, one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um, you know, I'll probably go two hundred fifty dollars and half of a cent. Two hundred fifty. Two hundred fifty. Two hundred fifty. Really. It's big, man. It's a fossil. I mean, I, I, yeah. You know what? I already said it. I guess you. All right, two fifty. I'm gonna go eleven hundred dollars. Eleven hundred. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm gonna go eleven hundred on. Wow. This. Well, Caleb, you were closer. Whoa. It is twenty thousand dollars. Whoa, there, these that are expensive. makes sense. Yeah, these yeah. are yeah. very expensive. That does make sense. I guess mm -hmm. I was you, thinking. Of, you have no respect for ancient things. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm thinking of is I'm just thinking of a great white shark tooth. But you know what the <laughs> thing about that is is it's not extinct. <laughs> There's a lot of those around. There's tons, yeah. man. That was kind of my reference point in my head. <laughs> yeah. But well, I guess it makes a lot more sense for something that you, that's 75 million years old to be $20,000. $20, well, yeah. speaking of ancient things. Yeah, mom. Damn. Well, speaking of ancient things. Yeah, ass. Uh, should, <laughs> should I go with... The, uh, uh, <laughs> Do I go with the bid or the buy it now for this one? 
because let's uh, do buy it now. Let's do okay. buy it now. Okay. 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 But read yeah. it out. This is know worn, what very smelly shoes, comfy brown, so soft. <laughs> Okay, and I would Warm, like to say very smelly so th- shoes, this comfy is a pair, brown, this is a so pair soft. of Ugg slippers. It looks like uh-huh. that have a fully matted back. Yeah. where it's they've been worn. Very yeah, we smelly, know comfy brown, these are, so soft. These are dads. Yes, these are daddies. Uh-huh. These, these are dads that he got for Christmas twelve years ago, yeah. and he's been stanking them up. Yeah, uh-huh. every time he gets them. These are the football shoes, but these are comfy these. brown, so soft. Yeah, and I bet they are soft because they're very worn in. I'm mm. gonna say. Very smelly. Why would they add that? It, and so here's my question. It's a bid, too. It's does, a bid. It's an auction. Yeah, but are we doing buy it Oh, yeah, now? we're doing buy it now. So okay. the the very smelly makes me wonder, Is that does that make the price lower or is it making it higher? I think it makes it higher. Yeah. It makes it higher? I think it's higher. Because so. they wouldn't, you're right, because they're trying to get their money money's worth. Yeah. They're not going to add to something like that if it if it devalues it. Right. So very smelly. I'm going to say that this is $75. And okay. is it, wait, is wow. it just one shoe? No, it's, it's two shoes. Well, it, from the picture, I'm guessing it's one shoe. But it's okay. a shoes. Okay. okay. Say shoes, you know, I'm yeah. going to go, you did... Uh, I'm 75, gonna, you're locking 75, in. 75, I'm locking in. No, I'm going to go $30. $30? That's your final or answer. No, you know what? I I'm gonna I'm gonna gamble that you are just gonna blow out and go over. I'm gonna well, go fuck you, I'm gonna bitch. go ten dollars and just try and get under ten dollars. Yeah, well, one dollar. Cameron, you already locked in ten. Ten dollars. It is twenty dollars. <laughs> Buy it now. Yep. By Gmer sixty nine. <laughs> And what can you just send me the link for this one? <laughs> just so look I up can very smelly because I, I feel like you, yeah, just to make sure. I mean, well, it is a pretty reasonable price four dollars and 28 cents. You can clean the smell off, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't somehow I feel like the people buying this are not buying it, and say, oh, I can clean the smell off and they'll be like, no, <laughs> 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 it saves some money buying already smelly shoes. Very smelly, you can just very clean the smelly. smelly. These but are comfy brown shoes, they're, they're comfy brown, so soft, so soft, yeah, yeah, or, yeah. yeah. comfy brown, so soft, yeah. yeah this, they're trying to flip shoes, yeah. I have, um. Oh, this one I can just get rid of. Okay, so skip that. Then. Yeah, we'll skip it when we get to it. But I'll just show it to you because I liked it. How I liked many the items do you have? You, um, I have. Uh, tell me how I one, knew the shopaholic two, was going to have the most <laughs> items. Three. I have four items. Okay. The this next item I went to Facebook Marketplace to find. Oh, good. This is men's jock strap. Oh, a leather and one. You can tell from the photos that this has been worn and washed. Used, yes. Used men's jock strap. Thirty-five dollars and twelve point. Now remember, this cents. is on marketplace where people would like to use round figures. Okay, free. Men, Interesting. Men jockstrap free is actually a strong guess. It is a strong um, guess. I will say. I mean, if are you locking in free? Yeah, I'll lock in free. Okay, then I will do one cent. <laughs> one cent. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just more likely to be free than one cent, but it You're is going to be right. more than that. Well, yeah. would, I think it's it fifty fifty free. I, no, or I don't. Tr- I don't. Th- it would be a nice trick, but I don't think he's trying to trick. I don't think he was. No, I'm not trying to trick because this costs money. Well, yeah. I mean, I guess I'll give I, you a hint. It costs money. <laughs> <laughs> I probably shouldn't guess free then. No, but it's too late. But now. You already you did. locked in free. Fine. I mean, I'm. I'm. I respect the honor of the game. I like that. And you did one cent. Yeah. Caleb, what? <laughs> $15 Whoa. and available to deliver if local fits Dude. size, small okay, to that's, medium. That's what they're really that's selling. That's what you're paying for. Yeah. That's, what you're, well, that's yeah. not even necessarily what you're paying for. That is what the actual item that you're buying <laughs> is. is, a delivery is this right. guy shows yeah. up with it. Oh, crap. I wore it to come <laughs> deliver it. Well, it looks like I got to take this thing <laughs> off. Um, this next one, I'll, I'll try to like burn through. We'll, we'll just kind of burn through. Lightning round, lightning round. Uh, no, because these these are cleaning it's okay beans. If they're good. Is, okay, I, I don't. These have are much. cleaning well, beans. Burn through it, and I'm like, oh, no, well, what does no, that mean? We're at an hour. We'll that means it. go yeah, slow. We'll just do, do it. it. We'll do it. Well, uh, cleaning this is beans. Cleaning beans. <laughs> these blessed beans are used to clean energy and given to Mother Earth. Cleaning beans. This is bird seed. This is bird seed. This yes. is fully bird okay. seed. I'm seeing. So this is a this is a, a bowl of dried beans. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I'm seeing lima. Yeah. I'm seeing kidney. I'm seeing black eyed pea. Uh-huh. And I'm seeing some black beans. Um. And you're seeing some hands blessing the beans. It looks yeah, like. Yeah. Which is that's worth a lot. I would say this is. This can't be more than than a dollar fifty worth of beans that I'm okay. looking at. Okay. A dollar fifty worth of beans. So you're gonna lock in at a dollar fifty. I'm gonna say a dollar fifty of beans. Okay. No, Cameron, what man, about you? The bl- you're forgetting the blessing. Which yeah, they're is the blessing main beans. part of uh, the listing. Well, I'm atheistic. Okay. Right. I don't believe in this kind of ble- I don't believe in anything good. Five dollars. Because I think it's gonna be more than that, but I don't want to bl- you were closer it's at uh, these are ten dollars. I was gonna guess ten dollars, and I was like, I don't want to go over, so mm-hmm. I'll guess five instead because you went so low. We need to see a bullseye. I, I could have gotten a bullseye right there, man. Ten dollars was in my head, 
but I wouldn't. I would have so only done I ten. I would have done ten dollars if you had done, done five. 10. Yeah. All right. Well, this next listing, we'll just we'll skip it. But my wife says no more guitars. <laughs> my wife says your your guitars must go. Two different things. Okay, yeah. How two much is the price? Listings. Uh, one of them. I was gonna have you guess the price of each of them. Uh-huh. And uh, Jubio, can you just get rid of the the text boxes over the prices here? Um, because they are He's different. He's in for his interview. He can't. All right. Well, then this next one. Wait, I need to see this next one. We'll go to the next one. Next one. <laughs> Whoa. This is podcast about list world domination t-shirt from Wendy Premium. Okay. And Wendy Premium says, and I don't know if this is a review or if this is the description of the item. What uh, the fuck? A total of 45 prosecution witnesses were called to present evidence <laughs> against Kelly with many of his victims, including the podcast about list world domination shirt. What the fuck? Moreover, I love this singer Aaliyah who married Kelly in 1994 when he was 27 and she was 15, identified as Jane Doe's. Accusations of engaging in sex acts with women under the age of consent followed Kelly for decades, but it took the Me Too revolution in the broadcast of the 2019 documentary Surviving R. Kelly for Kelly's Holy longstanding wow. blah, 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 blah. So the description of the podcast about list world domination t-shirt on Wendy Premium Speaks about R. Kelly. It's the very essentially the R. Tour shirt from two years ago. Is one uh-huh. of the was many called victims. to the was was one of the victims of R. Kelly <laughs> was called to the witness stand. Mm-hmm. Wow. Now, how much do you think that now do, do you think that that would raise or lower the price of this? I mean, this has to be a collector's. Well, first of all, it's out of print. We don't make yeah. this anymore. I don't think yeah. we actually ever made it as a hoodie. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, who's I'm, first? I think I'm first. You're yeah, you're first. first. Yeah. I mean, you can go first if you want, though. <laughs> no, uh, I'm gonna. You oh, know, I will say it is on sale, and it's a hoodie, and it's on sale. Yeah. Okay, twenty bucks. Twenty I, bucks even. I say eleven ninety nine. Okay. Caleb, you are closer. It is twenty two ninety nine. Oh wait, you said twenty so I'm bucks. Closer. Cameron's closer. <laughs> <laughs> you said you looked at me, looked away from me, looked at camera, and said, "Caleb, you are closer." I, I got your names mixed up. Also, lo- I love the Wendy logo right there. That's a beautiful logo. Yeah, Wendy I wish we could with zoom in on that it reminds logo. me of it's the Wendy's logo without an yes, S, guys. It, it mm-hmm. completely is. Well, now guys, this is my final that. item. Okay, oh. and these are called Jelly Boy jeans. <laughs> 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 Jelly Boy jeans. Jelly Boy jeans. And Jelly these are Boy all jeans. over print jeans. <laughs> all over print jeans. And can you describe them to me? Yeah. Now they have. Uh, can you cl- uh, go ahead for one uh, one slide? Uh, so there is an all over <laughs> <laughs> on the waistband. <laughs> It says Jelly Boy. On the Boy. waistband, it says Jelly Boy. On the front of the pants, on the left leg, it is a photo of right a leg. very. Uh, very handsome young man it's holding a, a flute of wine, a champagne, a champagne. Uh, Cameron Fetter. And uh, on the butt, it says jelly on one cheek and <laughs> boy on the other. <laughs> now, <Jelly>. I want you <laughs> to jelly boy. On <laughs> oh, also they were. And you just found to, these. Also, it, it just, they, yeah, they were designed in Italy. <laughs> <laughs> Je- jelly boy jeans. <laughs> jelly boy jeans designed in Italy. <laughs> okay. And I want you to guess how. I mean, Italy should tell you the. You know the. I the, just saw Bowser walk by. By the way, guys. <laughs> Don't tell me that. One hundred percent just saw a person walk by with a Bowser shell on their back. Oh, oh my shit. god. Um, uh, well, just remember Italy, Milan. On the capital this of fashion, fashion in the world. Fashion. These are high, yeah, fashion, high fashion pants. Fashion. So just think about that. Je- I also the <laughs> <laughs> Wait. The Jelly Boy designed these? The Jelly Boy designed these, yes. Um, and think also about the licensing fee that went into these for the uh, yeah. appearance of certain... Yeah. Uh, celebrities, celebrities <laughs> on the jeans, yeah. so that will have to be baked into the price. And, and the fact another. to make jeans, make them jeans that look exactly like sweatpants. That is very uh-huh. expensive. Yes. Yes. yes, look and feel exactly like sweatpants. Yeah. Uh, okay, so for the Jelly Boy jeans, I'm <laughs> gonna say, God, this one's tough because yeah. whoever posted this really could have put any. <laughs> um, I will say. A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. Okay. Thousand dollars. Okay. I'm gonna metagame you here. Okay. I'm looking at this listing. I'm looking at the length of the block that's covering the dollar. I don't think a thousand dollars is fitting there. Oh, I'm smart, gonna put smart. in a hundred dollars is my guess. The because jelly, I think that the, this could be. I think this is three digits, a decimal point, and well, two, digits. two digits. Cameron. 
No they are one hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, yes. well, I thought that it was gonna be a. I thought you were. He got them on the. No, oh. they're oh. moderately priced for what <laughs> yeah. they are. I mean, jelly this boy is a, jeans. these this are Jelly Boy jeans. And what website are these on? These are on Teespring.com. <laughs> So these are available to buy. <laughs> jelly boy, <laughs> jelly boy <laughs> jeans. Okay. Oh, you can fuck, buy those. Man. You can buy jelly boy jeans. Should have had you in it, man. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a different product altogether. That's ass jelly. Ass the jelly t-shirt. <laughs> all right. Pull up Caleb's right, slides here's here. Here's mine. Do we want to slide yeah, this all the way over? Yeah, you can slide this over, yeah. over for Caleb. Okay. Okay, so this is the ding. This is the <laughs> All right, all right, I'm ready. This is Dirty uh, Sock. Okay, this first one is on OfferUp. Have you ever okay. used OfferUp? Yeah, up? yeah. This is Dirty Sock, okay? Uh, so some things... That, this is a picture of a sock that's being held against a subway tile, <laughs> the, mm. like, bathroom. Yeah. Uh, condition is new, even though it is a dirty sock. And this is in Queens, New York City. So Whoa, we, we can up. buy this. It's posted by Angel Rodriguez. <laughs> Uh, the brand is Quicksilver. Size Guys, eight point five. How much do you think the dirty sock is? Who's first? Um, I can go first, yeah, and I'm go gonna first. say that this is. Um, I'm gonna say like fifteen dollars. It's one sock. If it was two it is socks, one sock. If it was two socks, I would have said twenty five. Okay, you lock that in for me. Yes, I'm gonna lock that in. It's three dollar bill, y'all. Okay. Three dollar bill, Cameron. You. Oh. Are, you got close. <laughs> it's nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars. You didn't tell us it was on sale. That would have changed my whole the answer. Pr- yeah. Guys, the description: the price has dropped from one mil to nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars. <laughs> That's a big deal. Okay, yeah. this next one is crazy awesome. Go to the next one, please. All right, so I'm just gonna show this to you a couple slides. I at a time. know what this is. No, you don't. <laughs> You, there's no way you know what this is. I can tell it's a suit. <laughs> okay, so wait. I, w- I just want to get guesses about what this is, and I will slowly reveal what this is. And I'll explain this. This is a some kind of image of... It looks almost computerized image of Dwayne Wade mm-hmm. wearing a Miami Heat jersey, okay? And it, does, it doesn't really look like him. His neck is a little yeah, too Yeah, it doesn't skinny. look like Dwayne Wade at all. It does a little... Or no, no, sorry, Ray Allen. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is like a Ray Allen uh, uh, Miami Heat era uh, corner three crazy shot to win the championship era right. Ray Allen. He's got a basketball. Uh, he's sitting there. Uh, yeah, he looks a little a little computer so generated. Now me, I have to say I think I think uh, I think Patrick kind of poisoned the well a little bit, and I'm looking at this, and I really am just seeing latex latex yeah. covering latex covering. Latex okay. latex suit. All right, can you go to the next slide? So now this is an action <laughs> okay. shot. No, so this, this is, is a, this is an action shot. Okay, now. this, this is could, a real doll. This could be also this could be a real doll, <laughs> or this could be a 3D model. That That's a selling. good point. I could okay. see that because I saw a couple of those people selling those. All right, I would like you to go to the next slide. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, he's naked and he's showing his butt. <laughs> it's the same guy that he's looking back, still holding the basketball, naked and showing his butt cheeks. Okay, so now next slide. It was on YouTube. We're so gonna this is, of course, Iron Tech Sex Dolls Gay Male Realistic TPE Full Body Life Size Love Toy for Women. I don't for think women. that a woman is buying this. Well, it says gay male in the <laughs> title. Well, they're just hitting both. Yeah, uh, that's 13 true. people are watching this item. This is in high okay, demand. Okay, well, you kind of... Also screwed up here by showing six months for ninety nine. No, it says that on every. Oh, eBay okay, list. never yeah, mind. It's on ninety nine, yeah. so we know it's more than ninety nine dollars. But yeah. we could assume that. I yeah, feel I like. think I think it's all obvious. right. Um, I'm gonna hit this with. I'm just and I'm kind of just trying to let these fly from the hip. Nine thousand dollars, I think. Nine thousand USD. Okay, USD. I'm gonna go lower. I'm gonna say twelve hundred USD. Really. Patrick, you are pretty damn close. This is it's almost like you've looked at this before. This is this is thirteen hundred and ninety nine. You are two hundred bucks off, man. That is you seem to be very familiar with this world. That is impressive. Okay. I need to see this thing in real life. I need to life. see yeah. it in action. This yeah. is clearly a a uh, a rendering of it. Yeah. I, I don't it's think these are real photos. Like that can't be real. No. Uh, okay, next. I'm willing to bet this is made to order and nobody has bought one yet. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's Next go. slide. Do it. Okay, so this is a doll. <laughs> this is a doll with it has very long legs and very short arms. And this is a haunted one. You went on metaphysical. I did go on metaphysical. Yeah, this is- okay. Next slide. Item description from seller. Next slide. 
The doll has been in my family its whole life. I brought it back from Germany when my Oma passed. And the next one. Thanks for looking. There is a trap soul inside. <laughs> I knew it. Okay, so this is a haunted doll, active, right. possessed, brought, bought from Germ or brought from Germany. Hilde Hildegard. That's her name. You can go to the next slide. Um, so, how much do you guys think this one is? Four hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, I'm gonna go fourteen, thirteen, twelve, one thousand, five. Thirteen, twelve, one thousand. Wait, Six, what did you say? Four hundred and fifty. And you said what? Seven hundred. Cameron, you won, but you are far off. This is twelve or eleven thousand. <laughs> oh, oh my god, god, that's almost the exact same price as the Johnny Depp one. So you have a pr- you have two choices you can make on this eBay. Yeah, is do I want a haunted doll right, that ruins right. my I life have, with a trap soul? Okay, inside I got I got my Christmas bonus. Depp. I've got twelve thousand dollars, eleven thousand dollars to spend on one item. Yeah, what do I want? Well, I get a I got an eBay doll. gift card. Yeah. Okay, this is a very thousand dollars. We're, we're this is a very different thing now. Go to the next one. Uh, I went all kind of dolls and stuff and figures uh-huh. and all this shit. Yeah, you, you so have an interest in dolls. Tell, say what this is. Elmo. It's uh, it's a tickle me Elmo. Elmo doll. Uh, okay, so next slide. This is actually a, a authentic haunted doll, extremely active, real Elmo demon Astaroth attachment. Oh, the demon Elmo Astaroth demon is Astaroth. attached. Astaroth has been attached. Astaroth is a powerful demon. There's a video on this where the guy talks to the Elmo doll. I I forgot to add it, but uh, on the listing. He has a YouTube short where he talks to the Elmo doll, makes the Elmo turn on a light bulb. Whoa. Oh my Tell me that isn't powerful. freaking your that is extremely powerful. That is yeah. scary. So guesses All on right. this haunted Elmo. Mm. Check this out. $666.66. And and That's a oh strong guess. Oh my God. That is a strong guess. Well, I'm going to go $999.99. <laughs> Patrick? Uh, oh. Cameron? Oh. You guys are both wrong. Oh. This is a deal. Four ninety nine yeah, for the Haunted that Elmo. That's that kind of cheap. Deal, for, yeah. for Astro, I mean, Astaroth is one of the major demons. You get the yeah. whole demon. You get the whole thing. The it's whole trapped. Demon. It's attached. I mean, that's a demon that I feel like that's like, that's a celebrity. Most of the demons that get attached to stuff, I feel like they typically don't you won't, they don't have the name. You, or you wouldn't yeah. know their names. It's like, you know, it's like, oh, I, I hung out with Jeff at a party. The exactly. Astro oh, is a real but I But I hung out with Miles Teller at a party the other night. Mm. Oh. How much did the party cost? You know what uh, I'm saying? And I have one last one, guys. Okay. This is, uh, I, again, I kind of want you to guess what this is. This is a text from Jesus Christ that says, I'm coming soon. Are you ready on an iPhone? And it's noon o'clock, and the phone is charged, and it's being held by a woman. Yeah, this is an iPhone 3 or 4, by the way. But it's not actually a phone. It is an image. Okay. It's an image of, well, yeah. It's on the TV, by the way. And also. This, is a, this is a book? I think that this could be text from Jesus Christ like you're like paying to first Jesus Christ to text somebody. You think it's a service? Yeah, I think it could be a service. Like kind of like a FaceTime with Santa style Next service. Next slide, guys. This is Christian NFT digital art. Oh! oh. What the fuck? Oh, the employee. Antichrist. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Oh my God! You as said, soon as Jesus I Jesus Christ, I'm coming soon. Are you ready? A picture of me fell off the wall. <laughs> Holy oh, crap. Right after we're talking about Astaroth. <gasps> oh my oh, God. Oh my God. That is scary as fuck. I wish we had that on tape. I wish we Jesus. had the. Was, You'll that, notice did that, was is, that in the corner this at least? Is not did here you see anymore, that? man. That is. I do not like that. That's crazy. No, so. It was me. Something bad is going to oh happen. Oh my to me. God, dude. No. This blood results, are, these are going to be bad oh results. Oh my God. Man. Jesus You're going to have Jesus. different blood. I don't want to say Jesus anymore. Yeah. Why? Please, Jesus. No, you want to say his name to cast out the demon. Yeah. Jesus, save. Um, okay. Jesus, so save. How much do you think this Christian digital NFT art is? Um, One million dollars. Two million. That's a little over, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that is a little bit over. I didn't lock in. I'm going to say 1,000. No, you already said you already said a million. He already said two million. Okay, you're both <laughs> so wrong. This is a steal. Ten thousand oh. dollars for this photo. You could have that in your Solana wallet today mm-hmm. for ten thousand dollars. And that's going to be worth a lot of money in the future when Jesus comes. When he actually mm-hmm. comes back, people are going to say, "I." He actually texted I, yeah. me. He, texted he actually me, texted me an art. NFT. But I think that's an amazing art. And this guy has a bunch of different Christian NFTs if you want to go check those out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't remember who won. Julio, were you keeping track? You had to have. Yep. You, okay, who won? Wait, wait, wait. Do the score. Right. Say third place. Here, let me let me give me a second. Yeah, well, I was in third place. All right, give it give it to me. Let's fly up like Mario right. Party. Third who is third place? So third place. It's none of the with five points. Patrick. <laughs> Bruh. 
Okay. On s- in second place with six points, Mr. Caleb. Damn! And our winner. Who's the winner? Our winner with eight points. Oh, that's a massive leap. Cameron Fetter. Congratulations, Cameron. Congratulations to the well, well, well played, my friend. Well played. Well, I can't yeah. turn this off. Congratulations, Jelly Boy. All right. Um, so Time to eat. Hamburger. Hamburger. <laughs> Go get the Jelly Boy pants. Yeah, uh, on Teespring. Uh-huh. Right. Wait, did you do that on your personal Teespring? I think so, yes. Okay, just search do not Jelly get Boy these. jeans, but don't buy them. Just look at them. Just look hey, at unless them. Unless you really uh, want Jelly Boy jeans. Swagpoop.com slash shows. Guys, we're coming to Boston, to Atlanta, to Philadelphia, to Toronto, to Chicago, to Minneapolis, to Detroit, and to Carborough, North Carolina, guys. Yeah, we're doing bitch. sketch comedy. We're showing videos. We're doing a live podcast in Detroit. We're going to do a full eight mile thing of some kind. Is everybody in the 213, put your motherfucking 313. hands up. 313. 313. Well, Everyone gonna, in the 213, put your motherfucking hands up in 313. And then nobody does 313, yeah. yeah. Where's the 213? I have I no know. idea. That's got to be Hey, Europe. Siri, where's the 313? Where's the 31213? That doesn't but exist. guys, buy your tickets. It's going to be incredible. It's going to be so much fun. And the shareholder meeting this month, if you are subscribed to the Patreon at the executive producer tier, you can join the shareholder meeting. On our telephone area codes in the North American. 323? We don't care about three. You this do, is nothing. You did it wrong. You did it wrong. This is nothing. No, it's, it's, two, um, it's North, North, North Cal. Oh, okay. Patreon.com slash podcast about list. You can subscribe and you can join the shareholder meetings on the $15 tier uh, on Discord. And this month's shareholder meeting is on Leap Day itself, February 29th. And I think at 6 p.m. I don't think we decided a time, but I think usually 6 p.m. I think yeah. that's a, a Thursday, I'm pretty sure. So go sub to that. And you can, of course, get premium episodes on there for only $5 a month. There's a huge backlog and it's fucking fire and swag as and well. And I think I'm probably going to have lunch pretty soon. Yeah, yep. I'm pr- very hungry. You're getting a call. All right, let's do some lunch. All right. Happy birthday later to anyone whose birthday it is. Anything is on the table yeah. at a mm-hmm. dinner conversation. Oh yeah, I'll talk potatoes, about potatoes, steak. Mm-hmm. Well, besides the food, eat asparagus, asparagus. Besides salmon, the food, Sam. Well, not the lemon. Not just like lemon. candles and the all that kind of lemon. shit. Lemon, lemon, lemon. You don't eat lemon at dinner. No, you, you eat lemon, lemon on. You put lemon on stuff. I call lemon lemon. Well, that you call lime. Must be lime. a regional thing. <laughs> okay. Really? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> you call lime lie? You're yeah, not even saving sure. a syllable there. What about salt? Sal. S- you oh, call it pepper is pep? Pep. Okay. Okay, that one makes sense. I've heard pep. pep I've heard pep. I've so heard pep. pep. What do you call ketchup? Chup. Chup. Chup is good. Chup, chup is good. I chup. like chup. Chup. Chup is very good. What do you call mayonnaise? Mayo. Mm. He came up That's with universal. that. That's universal. Oh, yeah. That is universal. What do you call what mustard? Yeah. Don't no. say it. <laughs> I, know, I, know. <laughs> I know what you're going Come for. On. I actually call it MT. <laughs> <laughs> Two syllables. Okay. All right. Yo, pass the MT. <laughs> what do you, would you call sauerkraut? Oh, that's tough because I can't, I, I can't call it sour because that's what I call sour candy. It's actually easy. And it's sour. kraut. And kraut is a bad word. No, it's not. If is kraut a bad word? I don't know. I thought kraut meant German. Yeah. yeah Isn't that bad? German. It's not bad. I don't think so. They have kraut rock. Well, I guess what I'm yeah. thinking of is that they would just, uh, is that in all the war movies, they call them krauts in a mean yeah, way. Yeah, but they're the bad guys in those movies. That's true, but it still sounds like a rude word. They should just suck it up. Does it just mean really? I think Does you it really can call Germans German? whatever. I I'm always not too worried about bad. offending Germans. I mean, German. I'm not either, yeah. but but I mean, I was just saying for I the think purpose Do you think enough time has passed, though, that they're like, that it's like, all right, we've had our fun. With Germans, yeah, You're I think saying it's time it. to forgive and forget the Holocaust. No, 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 That's, no. Again, he's saying. walked into a confusion. <laughs> it is a confusion situation. Yeah. But do you think Actually, enough that time? That, really, that, that was fully felt. Yeah. Like, but do you think enough think time has time passed? To forgive and forget. Not to forgive and forget, but to stop calling them <laughs> enough crowds. Enough time has passed is a crazy thing to say. It's not even a hundred years, man. All right. Well, once we hit the hundred years, I guess we can stop calling them crowds and stuff. <laughs> <laughs>